cement hard on one. Like, well, why don't you just get real juice? I thought I would take a minute and tell you what the hell happens with real juice and we would do a comparison. Now, before I begin, let's understand that these are not for human consumption. They are not... Winstraw is only um, prescribed by medical professionals, which I'm not, and don't want to be. S23 is tomorrow's drugs, possibly, if they pass FDA um, inspections and whatnot, and, they, and it becomes drug. That's Bob, by the way. My name is Seth Williams. Um, Neuroids.com, which is not where you buy any of this because I couldn't do that. But um, furthermore, research chemicals are not to be eaten, they're not to be snorted, they're not to be banged, they're not to be insulated, they're not to be um, used as procreation aids, as incense, and they cannot be um, stared at too long. Um, it may cause problems. So, because they're not for human consumption, they can only be sold as a research chemical for research purposes in research facilities by researchers doing research. And your medical doctor would have to give you instructions on how to take it and do blood work, and he would have to make sure you're safe. Um, and I'm not a medical doctor, but in certain cases, there have been medical doctors that have done experiments with this with their patients who just we're adamant about taking it, so we do have that information. Now, moving forward, there are people who are into this thing called bodybuilding. And those people tend to like to be guinea pigs. Because of that, I thought it'd be, I kept hearing these people go, why in the world would anyone ever take these research chemicals as opposed to just taking the real juice. So I said, why don't we go through them one at a time, do a comparison to the closest research chemical to the closest um, counterpart being steroid, and let's analyze what the difference is to the best of our knowledge, considering we don't have 10 years worth of studies here, and we have 50 years worth of studies here. Some people tend to believe that their known hell is better than the unknown, whatever it might be. So they never step out on that limb. So here we go. <clears throat> Starting off with Winstraw. Now Winstraw is a unique steroid in that it's very dry compound. It's a DHT derivative, which means it can honestly make you produce milk. Um, <laughs> It has a 320 to 30 anabolic to androgenic ratio. Yeah! All right. It is probably the number one, number two best pre-contest prep, like right next to trend. When straw, um, it can be taken orally or via injection, which... Honestly, I don't know why anyone would inject this. It's incredibly painful, and it is liver toxic either way you do it. So it's very hectic. It will destroy your liver eventually if you continually do it. So it's not recommended. Because <laughs> you got to have a liver. That damn thing's important. I don't know. You know, you got to ask God about that one. Um, oral or injectable, uh, derived from DHT, so you get squirt milk. Used to treat um, hereditary uh, angioedema, swelling under the skin that is problematic and really not painful, but, it, you know, people can get rid of that. But you have to uh, monitor these people for airway in, in, in restriction. <laughs> So, um, they come in pink round tablets that are scored, and they are three milli or two milligrams per tablet. Now, this is for medical use. 
This is not for bodybuilding use. Bodybuilders tend to increase dosage. Now, I really can't tell you how much because then you might actually go do that and that would be bad. Um, but normally, like a bodybuilder might do three to four times what the regular dosage of any various steroid might be, therefore causing more side effects and getting exemplified problems. Now, what kind of problems could you really have from one of these anabolic steroids? Well, shutdown, prostate swelling, PSA levels go up, enlargement to, um, oh, wait, no, no, this is a side effect, swear to God. All right, wait, start from the top. Heptic, uh, cholesterol, it causes your cholesterol to go up, and jaundice, um, which is where you turn yellow because your liver is dying. Um, hepa Heptic neurosis, which is when you just die from, you know, your liver not working. Uh, shut down, prostate swelling, PSA, uh, goes up. Enlargement and more frequent erections. Okay, I don't, side effect. <laughs> yeah, that was the selling point right there. That was not a side effect. Um, <laughs> let's see. So you got... Per pre preopism, which is where you, you know, and it just want like you gotta go have the doctor extract blood out of it. Like you don't want that, honestly. That's there is a level that's too much of that, and that's that level right there, bro. Um, bladder irritation, male pattern baldness, gynecomastia, acne, sodium imbalance, which basically means you bloat possibly, and you know your heart enlarges. Um, decreased glucose intolerance, gummies. Um, LDL levels go up, which they say that has to do with heart disease. We don't really, that's a whole different ballgame. Kidney issues, clotting issues, and it is a Schedule 3 substance, meaning you can do gel time for it. I have no idea why people just wouldn't get the juice. So, as we move forward, um, now S23 being a research chemical that is not for human consumption, that, well, I have a fish frog, monkey mouth, saber tooth, spider cricket, like a lot of these. He's my best friend. He goes with me everywhere, and he has done his share of S23. And he tells me, that is probably definitely his favorite of all the selective androgen receptor modulators. Um, and there's a few reasons why, because when we look at the research and we actually go to the Google Scholar and you look up the trials that they do, they, they got all these studies, it's really cool. And you can knock out the opinion, so you just get the studies. One of the really difficult things for me to find when I was uh, doing this research for my friend, who is a uh, fish frog, monkey mouse, saber tooth, spider cricket, like a lot of us, um, I say that three times real fast, honestly, with your wife around. Um, <laughs> shouldn't get it before long. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in, you know, that's a lesbian dinosaur. I was thinking a lot. Okay. Anyway, my bad. Um, S23, it's really hard to find side effects. I'm not sure why, because other compounds I can find side effects rather easily, like this one. Anyway, it says uh, basically that it's a research chemical under investigation for the treatment of muscle wasting, bone loss, diabetes, heart disease, for the treatment of these. Um, kidney disease, prostate cancer, lung function, and prevention, Duchenne. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, cattle uh, for increased muscle mass and decreased body fat and feedlots, fat loss, enhanced sexual motivation in women. Um, and there's like a list that goes on and on. Those are like the benefits and the side effects. The only ones that I could find are what my fish frog, monkey mouse, saber tooth, spider cricket, like a lot of us told me that he had experienced and some other 
people who have a doctor's uh, permission or their doctor is doing their blood work and has told them that they need this for some reason or another. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Um, known side effects are dehydration. Anytime you have an anabolic, dehydration is a possibility. When you speed up cellular reproduction or the rate at which you can build muscle, then you also speed up cellular death, which means if you don't have enough fluids to wash all the old stuff out, it builds up, okay? And you, dehydration is ugly. This also causes dehydration, by the way. Um, temporary testosterone suppression, and I say temporary because I was really looking hard and it's used as a male contraceptive or could be used as a male contraceptive. The issue comes in that, um, well, 100% of those research, the little rodents, the fish, frog, monkey, mice, said through spider crickets, that they had that were researched all produce children after 100 days of being off of it. So this whole permanent shutdown, shut up. Um, I don't want no kids. Anymore. I mean, like, look, y'all, if you really have something that's just of great value to teach a child, you're more than welcome to come teach mine. You don't have to go. <laughs> Love you, David. Love you, Emily. Like, you are my heart and soul. But God's honest truth. My kids are the reason that I work 14 hours a day. Um, Anyway, so you've got um, possible uh, loss of testosterone that's temporary, um, suppression or shutdown, cramping, well that's due to dehydration most of the time, and aggression. You can get rather aggressive because it's rather potent. As a matter of fact, it's going to have a lot of the good benefits. Now, to talk about the benefits of Winstraw, it is your number eight, probably most valuable besides trend, um, the cattle steroid. Um, steroid for pre-competition in bodybuilding because all water weight goes. It's a DHT derivative, which means it's not estrogenic, which means that upon stopping it, you could get an imbalance of your dopamine, which it goes, it drops, and your prolactin could come up, and you could, but that's after taking it, not during. And this is actually going to be the same way. It reduces estrogen. It actually reduces prostate size. S23 reduces your prostate size. This will enlarge your prostate. Um, this is selective. This is systemic, meaning that this one goes to the muscle and tries to kind of bind there and stay in there. That will go to every freaking part of your body. <laughs> Cause all kinds of fun problems. But both are very dry, very anabolic compounds. The anabolic ratio of Winstraw is, I think, 320 to 30. Is that right? Yeah, 320 to, good, like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, the anabolic to androgenic ratio of S23, we just don't know, but it's got to be milligram to milligram down close. Um, seen both of them use pre-competition, and let me tell you, you can't tell much of a difference in effect. The one thing that you will get more of is you're definitely going to get a little more dry with that, which means a little more dehydrated, which also means your joints are going to hurt a little more than with that. Or not you. You don't take this. This is for your fish, frog, monkey, mouse, ever do spider cricket. Um, now, what is a SARM? Or how does that... How... How do we do the different, differentiation? Well, a selective androgen receptor modulator, like I was just saying, selectively binds to the muscle and activates the hormone receptor in the muscle that, say, testosterone or DHT would activate right there, 
without going systemically throughout the body and causing issues. That's why it's selective. That first word in there. Right? Okay, so um, where your steroid is going to go to your hair, and the steroid is going to go to your muscles, and it's going to go to the prostate, and it's going to go to the heart, and it's going to go to the testicles, and it's going to go further and further and further and further. And not so much with SARMs. Um, they provide some of the benefits, but negate most of the side effects. That is, to the studies that we have so far, and the thousands upon thousands of people who have went to their doctor and got permission to use these. So, why in the world would somebody, when they can just get the juice, well, I don't know. And if you think me to be um, just promoting one and not the other, go look it up. Prove me wrong. Because I've got all the studies over here and I probably just spent ungodly amount of time pouring through both. Trying to enlighten myself on what I didn't know about Winstraw and finding God tons of information on S23. Honestly, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It's probably going to cause your penis to fall off at some point if you take it. So I definitely wouldn't do that. And do not listen to me because I'm not a medical professional and I didn't stay in a Motel 8 last night and I should not be trusted. But you can go read them double blind control placebo studies that they have done and you can go to Google Scholar and look them all up for yourself. Don't ever believe a word that I say because hell, I could be wrong. But I know that I'm right about that. So, I even was trying to find the hepatoxicity of S23 in which it can cause your, um, the K, um, the ALT to rise, showing that there could be liver issues. But upon further research, they found out, I was really trying to find some bad stuff, but they found out that that's, um, the second type of um, test there that actually doesn't have to do with the liver. It's more to do with the um, muscle and the when building muscle you get this, a, the ALT actually rises from a different source, meaning that it's not liver toxic. So I couldn't even throw that one out there. You know, when you do speed up cellular reproduction, there is a chance that you could also have die off more quickly of cells, which means you could possibly have kidney issues. Maybe. I have no proof behind that, but I'm... Oh, your LDL will probably go up because all SARMs just about do that, but LDL is what binds your muscle to your bone, which means you kind of have to have that. If you don't, you're liable to detach a muscle from a bone. Oh, and it reduces prostate size. Your PSA levels will probably go down, and it increases sexual function in women. But with women, it will cause birth visceralization, but I imagine that would go away, kind of like the whole sexual dysfunction thing with the men. Like, if we're not sexual dysfunction, excuse me, the... Um, not being able to produce a baby, which doesn't mean not able to have sex. That actually, that drive can go up, but you just can't make a baby. It's like getting, I wish somebody would have told me about that before when you got snipped. I mean, it would have saved me a lot of problems in about $500. Anyway, that is the best, most comprehensive breakdown I could possibly give of these two. Now, we could go through here and do these marks, which actually we probably should, but I don't know what I did with my blue marker, so we're going to substitute purple real quick. Muscle size. Now, this oral steroid, this is going to be your Winstraw. This would be your thing. Okay, this is Winstraw color, purple right now. So, muscle size. I mean, like, honestly, Winstraw is probably going to be like a nine, only beaten by... Trend. All right. Now, if I had to throw down on a, I don't have my green over here either. Lord, I came unprepared. 
Um, if I had to say that there is a number behind the said um, S23, then I would say it's probably like right there, milligram to milligram, it's a nine. It's right there with Winstall. I've seen them both milligram to milligram and under a doctor's supervision only, but definitely. Now, if your strength, okay, let me tell you something. Strength on SARM on this, this is S23. Um, the purple, can't do that. Sorry. We got S23. Your strength, now this one, we're going to say this is probably like a 10 because you get just strong on wind straw. And I'm going to say, just for argument's sake, this is probably going to rank you around an 8 um, when it comes to your strength. Now, stamina, this is a 10. This one, because of the joint problems it causes, I'm going to have to rank like an 8 in stamina, okay? If you're in a fight or you're in, like, combat, if you could take this, in a perfect world or whenever it becomes, you know, approved by the FDA, there ain't going to be nothing better than this one. You will... You will run and your playlist runs out before you get tired. It's stupid. Um, confidence. Now, the overall feeling of well-being and aggression that comes with it, um, both of these are definitely ranking like an 8 there. Um, yeah, purple. You know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, I like that purple color. That's pretty. All right, so libido. I... My fish frog monkey mouse had two spider creek and only noticed an increase in the beginning and then he never, like, it, he didn't get anything better from there. I'm going to say, like, I'm going to break even on a five there um, because, and same thing would be Winnie. Um, clarity of thought, it's not, it doesn't really register toxicity. This one is like, this is the most hectic shit that has ever hit the face of the earth. Wind straw. It doesn't matter even in injection because of the um, the double A, the 17A alkaloid. It's literally going to be filtered through your liver twice either way you look at it. Like the stuff's just toxic as hell. And some steroids are altered on the first pass. If taken orally, most of them will not work unless they are 17A uh, methylated and this one's just always methylated so it's screwing you either way I have no idea why you would go through the pain of injecting that crap it hurts like a son um I've, I've heard it I'm, I don't, I'm not injecting that shit why you just drink it get the same result um but you don't do that. That would be horrible. You would never, ever use something that toxic. I mean, look at all the damn side effects. Who the hell would use that shit? Um, and this one, when it comes to toxicity, I'm going to have to give it like a two just because something that good has got to have some kind of toxicity. Um, cholesterol. Now, this one is probably like a seven. And I'm going to give this one like a seven because it's got to, your, your LDL's got to go up. I've seen no extensive studies on that, but I'm betting. While you're on it, your cholesterol has to go up. Um, your prostate. Now, this one is going to enlarge the prostate. I'm going to give it like a big old fat seven for it's going to enlarge your shit. This one is a negative two. It's going to shrink your prostate. <laughs> kidney function. Uh, this one's going to probably be filtered through the kidneys at least once, maybe twice. Um, so, you're looking at like... A, Seven to an eight on toxicity there. This one is probably, oh let's see, I gotta get these colors right. You know, they're like a seven there. And this one's like a zero because like I can't find any information there. Uh, kidneys, this one's killing your kidneys, man. Sorry, you, you, got, you got to die right here. This is the most hectic steroid there is. Which, well, let me say this, taking large doses is probably equivalent of drinking a pint of vodka every night. And that, coming from a guy who drank a liter every night for two years, and I'm not even bullshitting, it was horrible, and I was really out of control. But 
to serve to the point that your liver can take a whole lot of damage. God loves alcoholics. If they, you know, you quit doing the whatever dope it was, your liver will heal itself. Living proof. Um, this one, uh, liver, I can't even make this stuff liver toxic. It might, I'm going to give it a two just because hell, it's got to be filtered through something, right? Um, hair, I think both of these are going to cause hair loss at some point, but this one is probably a little more. This one is probably about a five and that is, yeah, it probably does. Um, okay, post cycle. You have to have a PCT, or you don't have to. The fastest way to regain your hormonal balance from a steroid or anything is stop completely all drugs. I don't give a damn what it is. You will regain your testosterone faster by stopping all compounds than you will taking Novodex or Clovid. It's more easy and it is very helpful to take a compound so you don't get the feelings of depression and all that goes along with that three weeks of hormonal hell where you feel like a woman and the gynecomastia that goes along with it. But after the gyno is there and you've rebalanced, then yes, you actually get your testosterone back faster without estrogen blockers. But you don't have gyno if you use the estrogen blockers. <laughs> now that is negating HCG. HCG will help stimulate that a little faster and so will HMG. A whole different ball game. We're not even going to go there. Uh, but yeah, both of them you're going to need post-cycle of some sort or another. Both of them are short cycle compounds. Like you do not run more than six weeks unless you just want to die. Um, but you don't ever do this unless your doctor, your doctor will do it. You're know, smart. I know your doctor will be doing blood work anyway. And that's why I know. All right. So you got a seven there. And then you got post cycle. Like, you know, you're going to have like, that's got to be like a seven. Both of these got to be a seven on your PCT need. Like, you don't have to, but it'd be a good idea you're shut down. Same as the one before. Your hormonal rebound. How long is it going to take? This one is going to be a 7. I'm going to put a 7 over here on this as well, just because your hormonal rebound could take a while if you run it too long. Now, if you do a short cycle, it shouldn't be very long. But after 90 days on... S23 in a hundred days after the secession of it, every single rat had babies. That means 100% regain of their ability to have babies afterwards. Both of them are probably going to stimulate sexual appetite, but this one. The SARM S23 could probably be used as a contraceptive, whereas I don't think we still can. So anyway, that's an overview. Now, why in the world would someone want to use this one as opposed to that one? Well, something to do with all the benefits and not even half the side effects. That's what you're gonna boil down to. And in reality, Sometimes, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it right there because that last statement I just can't make on here. Anyway, I hope that brings the clarity to that one and uh, we will do another one soon, if you wish. And if you wish, Bob would like to join in the next one. So, anyway. NewRoids.com.